Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm sharing with you here a clip taken from a long video that I just finished to record to my subscribers. I think you will find uh, the clip very interesting. Continuous contract, okay, uh, very interesting situation developing here. Okay, that's silver. Silver is the weekly scale, uh, is on the weekly scale right here. And uh, silver is still mired uh, in that, uh, um, stuck in that trading range. Uh, but um, I suspect we're going to have a move soon. Obviously, it's not going to stay there forever. Uh, I think that uh, the best clarification uh, for the entire pattern right from the top in 2011 would be, as far as I'm concerned, would be a plunge. A plunge, uh, let's say, could be a brief one between three weeks, let's say, to six weeks, or could be even just two weeks, but just a plunge, uh, a spike, uh, a panic spike uh, that could register the bottom, and then it uh, it could reverse um, and basically give us uh, uh, the final element that we need uh, to complete this uh, puzzle of uh, silver, the bear market in silver, and then we will see it going, uh, going, uh, going its way higher. Uh, okay, so n let's have a look now at the, at the daily, and uh, I hope you remember the options that I discussed when uh, we were looking at uh, the structure, the big structure. Okay, so I repeat it quickly. On the daily, we have an A, B, C, X, and then we came and looked, uh, took this as an A. That should be not much discussion there, right here. Okay, so I run too quickly here. Okay, so that's the that's the slide A. That's B with an A, B, C, D, E, and the variation began to play a role uh, in the price action da uh, dating from this spot. Okay, so here we could uh, talk about. Um, in fact, instead of taking this as one, we would take this as a C, and that would be an X. Okay, uh, if you remember, that will basically uh, render the C that normally we thought would go much longer would render it uh, um, basically cut it. We'll, we'll take a brief uh, run here for the C. We'll take the ABC here as an X and then we come down we have an A and lo and behold we have uh, basically silver um, in my opinion uh, tracing something that looks like a triangle. Now this must remind you something must remind you something. This is uh, very similar to, to, of course, to the euro. What we have seen, uh, the euro also got stuck uh, for uh, quite a few weeks going nowhere. And what did the euro do? Well, it also uh, traced the triangle. And in the case of the euro, we expect the euro to go down. And uh, uh, the euro and silver going down and the dollar index going up, that would fit perfectly uh, with what you're seeing here. Now, why do I think that it is uh, uh, so helpful? Because we have a triangle. It does look like we can work out with a sensible uh, triangle structure here uh, in the case of silver. All this is very nice, but we need that confirmation. I can talk for hours and days, but if the market doesn't deliver, uh, then uh, it's uh, for no good. It's got to, the, the analysis will be confirmed on a solid break under this line. It pops its head above this line, then there could be something else in play. Okay, I've already discussed also this option uh, where I thought that even if it runs from this level, uh, it is unlikely to go into a massive bull market now. It just doesn't look to me like it, it's ready. So, as I said, the best clarification for the wave count would be if we get something, a replay of what we got here. That's all we need. That's all we need. If Mr. Market um, is going to deliver a $3 drop from this level, we got it. That, that can be classified as an A, B, C, and then that market silver will be ready uh, to reverse um, and uh, going into a multi-month run. Now, you can see the price action on uh, on Friday. It uh, popped its head and then sank back into the trading range. That's normally a bearish price action. Yeah, that's pri uh, a bearish price action. Uh, couldn't uh, maintain uh, the gain, couldn't hold on to the gain. Look what happened here when it did that. 
it also run and uh, sank back in into the trading range and look what happened after that so it's very possible that we are going now uh, to see silver continuing lower and as I said in the case of uh, other markets so far that I covered it's very possible that within just two three days uh, we would have the signal we are waiting for just break through break through that and that's it we have to start counting an impasse wave from this spot okay okay that's gold gold is holding on to the to the title of being uh, a bit more tricky this time than than silver silver is helpful uh in terms of the wave count is 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 more uh, uh straightforward if you like as far as i can see uh and i won't go through the long-term analysis again i hope you remember that the option is basically uh that we could uh, treat this as an a what's happening here as a b okay and uh, so far I'll take you here to see the subdivisions and so far we are looking at uh, a possible ABC that's an ABC that's an X that's an ABC so yeah we could uh, be talking about a B that ended here with this being an A okay with uh, the following subdivisions or uh, it could actually morph into uh, a triangle in this shape okay so it gave you it gave you a build up of ABC X ABC and then all of that is morphing into a triangle which effectively would resemble uh, in a way what uh, silver is doing okay so also here um, I can come up with uh, many different uh, variations for the wave count here but the, the the range is pretty clear and the critical level is also very clear i hope it's the is the brown line okay we do need a break through the brown line now silver is much closer to achieve that you remember silver is around here in reference to its uh, base so obviously you want to watch silver you want to watch silver i already told you you must watch the australian dollar uh us dollar um it never it never caused any harm if you look at other metals as well we'll look uh, later on at platinum uh, so i i think that here uh, even though it is uh, more difficult to subdivide uh, and get a clear wave count where, when it's not there uh, as far as i, I can see um, a breakthrough the orange line here will start the slide in my opinion to towards the the brown line once we break through the brown line, forget it. It's just it is uh, it is almost certainly now engaged in delivering that C or a third wave. Now let's go and see, nevertheless, the sixty minutes. The sixty minutes here is showing us uh, that's the A B C. We took this uh, as a complete A B C. We start going down, and I had two options uh, uh, applied here to this. Uh, um, we took this as a one two three four five possible one here that was an a that's a b and we said we're going up in a c well yes 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 it run up didn't take the top so it can still qualify as a possible one two one two three four five three four five yes a bit twisted but it's right there technically it's possible and coming down i was uh, treating this as one and that could be an a b c but i'm not very convinced i'm not very convinced so it's not high confidence um i'm not very convinced somehow i think the weight of evidence what i see uh, all around is that this is just sitting now on support of an inverse head and shoulders do you see that you see the inverse head and shoulders it delivered a run and it, it it came back sinking onto that uh, inverse head and shoulders neckline i don't think it's going for another run i would be surprised so it's pretty clear that as soon as we break through um monday tuesday we break through we are probably good for going a lot lower okay so that that could turn out to be the right wave count or it could be that there'll be further complication okay that uh, mr gold is not in the business of helping us in any way that it will become really really complex but all of that could be i'm jumping back to the daily could be encapsulated in the idea of a triangle of the b okay and i will nevertheless expect a break when all this mess is over a breakthrough that will help a lot to clarify the larger scale uh the larger scale wave count 
just in case you would like to have further information or to learn more about my website I thought of introducing very briefly uh, my website here um, that is the front page and uh, if you scroll down you will see there are quite a few examples of uh, uh, recent clips that I added I also have uh, a lot of charts here if you're interested uh, uh, there are a lot of charts that you can study examples of past market action uh, there are also uh, more charts here under re under resources at uh, the chart galleries you have chart galore number one number two plenty plenty of charts you've got uh, useful links, recommended reading list, uh, okay, terms of use, private policy. You can get in touch with me if you have any issue, any question whatsoever. Uh, here is a description of the services, okay, and uh, uh, in fact this you will see once you log in. Uh, it will let you see what you subscribe to, okay. So if you subscribe to the Wave Mastery daily service video, you'll get that. If you subscribe to the weekend service, you'll get that. But if, before subscribing, you might want to actually take a look at uh, at a trial okay so you can actually have a, a trial of the daily video service the full service uh, you click right here and it takes you to the page of the uh, the trial it's a uh, seven calendar days it only costs 299 okay 299 euros you can pay with PayPal it gives you access to the uh, to the archive uh, you can also uh, get in touch with me if you uh, have specific questions I, I will uh, do my best to answer that um, that is the daily service trial uh, and that's the daily service the full scale um, then we have the Wave Mastery weekend uh, video service trial. This is also uh, priced at only uh, $2.99. It gives you 12 calendar days. You get two long videos with that, okay, fresh videos. And you get uh, access to the archive. And again, you can get in touch with me if you have any questions. Uh, that is the issue of the trial. Uh, here on the main page you have some articles that you might uh, want to have a look at and uh, that's the very brief introduction of my website. Hope you enjoyed the clip, hope to see you on my website. Don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Wishing you successful trading. Bye now.